are standing on a very small island, as you can see. A tu dużo normalne. Duże pręgi. Hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. Today I'm on the on my way down to the river and beaver dam and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, water I have enough of. You can see, it's very very swampy. That's why I want to check out the the road down there, or the the route, or what you can say. I was out all day, actually yesterday without you guys. So uh, I thought I wanted to uh, to bring you today. Uh, yeah, as usual, I, I have some uh, things to show you. Thoughts to share, this and that, you know. It's not always the most revolutionary stuff, but uh, it's for you guys who like the outdoors. So uh, yeah, let's check out the, the road to the to the dam and the river down there because uh, that's an awesome area. And also, I want to know if I can uh, if I can cross <coughs> so I can uh, get to the hunting cabin and stuff like that. I just saw a large bird of prey in here. I'm not really sure what it was, but uh, it was a big guy. First, he was uh, flying out on the on the fire-built logging road there, checking me out. But then he went back in here. So yeah, I'm just trying to see if the, what, what's here. If, the, if there's something interesting. So far, I found some uh, fiddleheads here. Some smaller ones over there. They're gonna be nice for some uh, some lunch salad. And over here I found something not really too sure about. Uh, not really sure what the hell this is. If it's a moose with bad stomach or it's just a bear or something. Normally bear crap looks a little bit different than that. More looks more like somebody really had a bad stomach. <laughs> Actually. Fun fact, bears do not have a stomach really. Well, I'll get some of the fiddleheads and uh, let's head on down there. Of course, that's gonna be really, really interesting for me anyway to see how it is because it was completely insane last time we were there crossing the river uh, to the hunting cabin. It's gonna be interesting to see if it's possible to cross it. Of course, it's a different matter crossing it one guy than crossing it three guys. Because if you're alone, then you really do not want to take big chances. Okay, since I have the camera out, I have so many questions about Chaga. And that is what it looks like. And sometimes you will see some black stuff running down or reddish stuff running down the trunk of the tree. There are also some Chaga up there. Here we have the Bigfoot uh, gate, or what we can call it. You can see, we have a tree there. One tree down, one tree up. But down here is where it's gonna start to get interesting. Fresh moose tracks. Heading straight for the river. Yeah, the beaver dam is right over there. Behind that spruce there. And that's the other side. Actually, that part you can see right there is half the way. Is this awesome or what? We came from up there. But I have to find some way to cross in there. It's gonna be pretty tricky. And all we're gonna do first, I think. I think we're gonna head up where we were Camping and crossing last time, you can see the the big pile, the big poplar that we brought down to cross the river. It's gonna be, it's not too far, it's like 500 meters. It's 500 meters through that stuff there. <laughs> we come from that direction there. We have the river down there and the beaver dam. This is just beautiful, my natural habitat. I think we are there 
He's definitely gonna have some lunch here. And we'll reach the destination. Oh yeah, we're here. That's where we crossed last time. And this here was already on the water. None of this was visible. And I was standing out there somewhere. <laughs> wow, the water have been deep. This is just pure awesomeness. <laughs> Some clear water. It's a beaver at a feast here. That's where we crossed, as I just said. And uh, I already learned a valuable lesson. I've learned that. Uh, if you make such a pass, a crossing, or what you can say, with a poplar, and if there's beaver around, do not expect to be able to cross back again. I was just thinking, ah, just see if I can cross here. And I found out that uh, where, the, where the beaver have peeled off the bark from the poplar, it's simply it's just uh, slippery as ice. It's really, really, really bad. <laughs> I'm certainly not gonna try and cross there in rubber boots or in any kind of boots or bare feet for that matter because that's slippery stuff. Speaking of boots, I'm definitely gonna get my boots off and foot wraps off. They are the world's longest rubber boots. They're pretty awesome and they are pretty needed here. But one thing faster I can say about foot wraps, even these are a little bit dirty, is that they dry much faster than socks. And that is pretty awesome when you're wearing rubber boots. I'll prepare my uh, awesome lunch here and uh, get back to you. That means turn the cameras back on. So here we have the lunch down there. Two slices of black bread, some uh, raw fresh garlic, the fiddleheads, fern heads that I uh, collected earlier and uh, some dried awesome dried fish so that is a really really awesome uh, healthy fresh lunch for the outdoors I'll say no freeze-dried uh, weird food here try some fiddle heads here very nice. This fish here. It's just great, it's just strips of fish. And then it's, uh, we can say, impregnated with some marinades of uh, pepper and salt and stuff like that. It's really great because it's just, with a protein, fats, salt, all the good stuff you need. Awesome. Have a little bit of fresh garlic. Lots of energy. Energy food. Yeah, but I just need some food here and uh, yeah, get back to you. See what we're gonna do. So it's time to get the boots on, try and see if I can uh, get over there uh, in a reasonable manner. And uh, then I'll show you how I uh, fold the boots uh, for hiking. What is also awesome is uh, these old school foot wraps. They work really well for Rubber boots, they work well for all types of boots which are not laced actually. And uh, yeah, it looks weird for the ones who do not know it, but, but uh, remember that uh, when soldiers relied on marching a lot, they preferred these over socks. But not that socks were not invented, right? And just because I show you something does not mean that I say you should do like I do, right? I'm just showing you.
That's basically it. So let's try and hit the river out there, see if I can cross it just for fun. Or not for fun, it would actually be pretty useful if I could cross it, go back there and uh, cross the way back. It's just, it's just a little bit too deep. This log here is slippery as ice. <laughs> no way. No way. A long stick like this can also be useful in the swamp to pull yourself out or pull myself out. It's not working well out there, to say the least. It's too boggy, it's too deep. I'll try to head over to the beaver dam there, just from in there, because that's where we normally cross. But the, the beaver dam over there was not even visible when we were here last time. So we are on the dam here actually. And out there, the water is deep, deep. We have a little bit of a hole up there. And it should principally be uh, possible to reach that side and then go through the swamp there. So I'll say it's definitely possible to cross because if we could cross last time, then I can certainly also cross this time because there's much, much less water. Okay, so let me show you real fast how to fold these things here in case some of you should. Uh, consider using them at least sometimes but uh, yeah first you of course have to fold them all the way down to straighten them out a bit here something like this I'll take this part here fold it up it means like fold it in half Wait. Fold it. Uh, let's get it a little higher up. A little higher up. I'll fold them in half again, like this, or something like this. And then I'll fold them once more. And then you have a pretty high rubber boot. <laughs> It's easily pulled up. So I actually got turned around down there once, down in the maze. I hate when that happens, but sun is up and so on, so no big problem. But uh, yeah, I don't like it. But uh, it's always a good reminder to try it sometimes. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will uh, check the links down in the description and uh, sub share, subscribe, sub bell, sub like and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train. Don't be turned around. See you next time here in wintertime rush. No, it's not winter time, it's springtime, Roger. See you guys.